Creekwood graduate from 2008, just back from his professional basketball stint in Antigua and doing big things here in Dixon County. You'll hear from him when we come back here on 101.5 The One and WDKN. RFC Sports Hour here on 101.5 The One and WDKN. Lucas Panzico with you and joining me now in studio, Brandon Williams. You might remember him from his time at Creekwood High School. Played basketball there, graduated in 2008, was a standout at Creekwood before going on extending his career to Evansville up in Indiana. Uh, Brandon, appreciate you stopping by here. First, I guess we're going to go ahead and cut to the chase. You're going to have a basketball camp on July 20th at Creekwood High School here in Dixon County. Yep. Tell us a little bit about that and, and how long that's been in the works. And I know Wave Effect is kind of what's behind all that. So give me kind of some background on what's going on there. Uh, so with the program Wave Effect, um, Christian-based program uh, based on basketball, um, started last year um, with our free clinic at Dixon County High School. Uh, we had had a great turnout. Um, we had uh, some great fitness trainers there, some great yoga trainers there as well. Um, this year will be at Creekwood, um, my first one at Creekwood, um, coming back to my old school, so um, it's, it feels great to do that, but um, this camp will be um, really good for the kids to come to. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of learning, a lot of activities there, a lot of, we're gonna have fun, but we're still gonna get be hard at work, so um, it'd be great for them to come and learn at uh, the camp. So Wave Effect is, is your kind of company behind this camp, and it's something that's right. been in the works for a while. Right. For anyone that doesn't know, you were in Antigua, for six months, right? And then right. you just got back in town less than a month ago. Right. Uh, first, I guess, before we talk about Wave Effect, tell me about that experience in Antigua. Well, Antigua was a beautiful island. I'll start off with that. It was a great place to be. Uh, kind of bittersweet coming back. I'm missing the beaches already, but uh, I think I got a little bit dark enough, so I'll, I'll stay with that. But, um, um, it was a great experience. Uh, great food, great people there. They accepted us with open arms. Um, the fans were great. Um, had a great uh, time over there playing basketball. A different uh, style of basketball, so very aggressive. But um, it was a great uh, learning experience for me. Yeah, we talked a couple weeks ago, and you told me about your first career game in Antigua. You got a little banged up. Right. I mean, tell me what happened. <laughs> so um, I'm guarding a guy. First game, I'm guarding a guy. He goes baseline, shoulders me right through my chin. I automatically go down. Um, <laughs> I have a I get up, I thought my uh, jaw was broken, but it was just jammed really bad. So I get up and I have a split in my tongue and I have a mild concussion. So I finish out that game and then I have to go straight to the hospital after that. <laughs> so. Welcome to Antigua. A challenge people probably don't really recognize when American players go play overseas is the first, the language barrier. And second, just the style of basketball you're playing is going to be completely different. Right. You're playing with players from all over the world. Right. Tell me about that and the different styles of basketballs you encountered from your teammates and people right. you were playing against and kind of how you think that's going to benefit you in this summer camp. All right, um, well, starting off with the language barrier, it was definitely a culture shock when I got there. Um, I didn't really understand anything they were uh, saying, but um kind of like maybe two months into it i kind of uh, started catching on it's like a broken english at this speak so i kind of catch uh, started catching on a bit more with that i'll be in practice and coach will be saying something i'm just staring at him just not my head not understanding anything so, <laughs> but um uh, after i got the hang of things uh, things started going a little bit more smoothly um playing with my teammates uh, it was kind of hard at first because they really didn't accept the americans at first coming over and taking spots and things like that which mm -hmm. is normal but um Playing with them, we kind of got into a groove at some point and uh, kind of gelled together coming to the end of the season. Um, it was a great experience as far as uh, learning from them, um, learning how to be a better leader, um, learning how to uh, engage my teammates a little bit more, um, talk a little bit more, be more vocal. So uh, great things learned um, that I could uh, bring to this camp uh, this year. So Now the camp, it's on July 20th. It's a one day camp. K through eighth grade, right. right? So tell me about the format of the camp and, and what people need to do if they want to sign up. Um, well, we'll have K through fourth go, uh, we'll start at 8 a.m., uh, that'll go to 10 p.m. Then we'll have the fifth through the sixth grade come, that'll start from 12 to one. And then we'll have our seventh and eighth grade go together, which will be from two to four. So um, if you want to sign up, you can go to my Facebook page, uh, Wave Effect. They have a link you can click on there, um, go and register online or you can register at the door. 